We have an update on a crime spree that started with two deaths in Iroquois County and ended hundreds of miles away in Colorado. The family of the woman who was murdered says they have no idea why she would be a target. Pamela Williams was found dead on Friday in Sheldon. Brian Musk was found on Saturday in Milford. Then Sunday, the suspect, Matthew Borden of Melvin, was found in Colorado. The Iroquois County Sheriff's Office says he led state police there on a high-speed chase before he died. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is live in our newsroom. Jamie, do we have any idea why he was all the way in Colorado? We don't. I went to Iroquois County to look for answers, and what I found in Milford was a community happy. Borden was found, but wanting to know why it all started in the first place. There's still a lot of questions, you know, why he did it. You know, no one knows why. Those are questions Lori Taylor feels she may never find the answers to. On Friday, her cousin, 54-year-old Pamela Williams, was found dead in Southwest Sheldon. It broke my heart. Wait, they just dumped her in a ditch. They shouldn't have treat treated anybody like that. Then on Saturday, deputies were called to an auto parts shop in Milford for burglary. They found 50-year-old Brian Musk dead on the property. The Iroquois County Sheriff's Department announced they were looking for Matthew Borden in connection to both those deaths. It's Christmas. For God's sakes, this poor, these poor families have lost more than what any of us will ever know. A day later, Borden was found, but he was nowhere near central Illinois. Colorado state troopers found him driving a stolen car from Iowa in a small town about 75 miles north of Denver. He led police on a high-speed chase. Police say he was going over 100 miles per hour at one point. He ended up crashing his car and firing at officers. Officials say it is not believed any officers fired back. Borden was found dead next to his vehicle. He didn't suffer any like the rest of the families are going to be doing for the next, for the rest of their lives. He deserves it. He deserves everything that he got. I mean, he shouldn't have, he, he shouldn't have went in, you know, killed someone like that. Lori Taylor says even though they're still hurting, the healing has just started. It's going to take a long time to get through it. I mean, it's just going to take a lot of prayers. Colorado State Police are working with the Iroquois County Sheriff's Department. They're also working with the U.S. Marshal Service. Borden was wanted for a probation violation in addition to the murders. Live in the newsroom, Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Jamie, thank you. More on his crime spree. spree. Borden was also wanted for an armed bank robbery in Illinois, and it wouldn't be the first he's accused of. In 2007, he was sent to prison for robbing the Dewey State Bank. Borden pointed a gun at two tellers and stole almost $15,000. Dollars.